everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Random Adventures where everything is always very random. And you know I like to cure and I like to smoke meat here. I've done streaky bacon and country ham. I've done Irish bacon and cabbage. So good. But today is going to be like the holy grail of smoked and cured meat as our family's absolute favorite, pastrami. We fell in love with it back in 2014. We were on vacation in LA and we went down to Fairfax Avenue. I convinced everyone we have to go to Cantor's Deli. We have to try pastrami and Reuben sandwich. Oh, sandwiches, so it was wow. But that was back then. And now, five years later, we're back here uh, in Asia and we haven't had pastrami sandwich in a very, very long time. So. So we don't have pastrami here, we can't get it, we can't get that caliber of smoked beef brisket. So I'm going to go down to town, I'm going to get me the biggest brisket I can find, Australian brisket because that's what we have. I'm going to cure it, I'm going to grind my own spices, I'm going to smoke it, and I'm going to make a real old Jewish sourdough Right. I'm going to try to make some kind of Russian dressing and I'm going to put it all together and I'm going to make a set. Once the brisket has been prepped, I'm going to prepare my dry cure. I do this a little bit differently from other people. I make a dry cure with the curing salt and all the curing spices and then I rub it onto the meat and let it cure and turn it around frequently. I don't do a wet brine kind of cure because there's just no space in our fridge to put a ton of meat with a ton of like salt water to let it be fully immersed for a week or so. Now, I'm going to mix all the dry spices together and I'm going to rub it onto the meat. Then I'm going to drizzle on some molasses and I'm going to turn it around frequently and I'm going to let it cure for about five full days. I'm not going to try and reinvent the wheel when it comes to the rye bread. I'm using a King Arthur flour recipe, which I will link below. It requires a couple of components, including a sourdough starter with rye flour and an old bread soaker. So there's like some technique involved. It's an advanced bread recipe, but it's not too difficult either. So here is the sourdough starter and I'm adding rye flour and water and letting it sit overnight. Then I'm soaking some old fondue bread and letting it soak overnight before squishing out the water the next day. Flour, water, yeast and a few other ingredients are added to the soaker and the starter. The dough is kneaded, set to rise, shaped into a basic loaf, just you know, roll it up and tuck the pinch the ends in, slashed so that it looks kind of rustic and then baked. And this bread came out absolutely beautiful, fluffy and delicious because of the flavor of the sourdough and really crusty. On the day of the smoking, I blended coriander seeds and black pepper to form like a kind of herb crust and it's very traditional to place these and spread it on top of the pastrami as it smokes. The pastrami is going at it in my 14 inch old smoky with hickory chips providing the smoke and charcoal just providing a little bit of heat so that the pastrami can slowly smoke its way to perfection. To make Russian dressing, I added an egg olive oil and herbs to an immersion blender jug and I use the immersion blender to instantly turn it into a kind of mayonnaise and to give it a kick I added horseradish in the form of wasabi. You do not rush the meat smoking process. 
and that is what I learned. Because uh, when I was smoking the pastrami, I just ran out of time. So it smoked, but there wasn't enough time to really steam it long enough for the meat to become tender. So I put the meat in a tray with some of the pastrami stock from the smoking process. I covered it with foil, popped it in the oven for about an hour, but it was so large that it wasn't quite enough to tenderize it as you know to be as tender as it should be so we ate it as a sandwich and it was very good delicious but still a little bit on the chewy side so the next day i took the other half of the pastrami i put it in my ikea dutch oven with some more stock closed it and let it steam in the oven bake slash steam with all the moisture sealed inside the dutch oven for one more hour and then and then it was perfect and it was so good it was tender and as you sliced it after it, it cooled and chilled it just formed this most delicious little slices that you could stack up into your sandwich and we just really 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 enjoyed it so if you don't have access to good pastrami sandwiches handmade from a special deli you can make your own at home it's a couple of days worth of work it cannot be rushed i don't believe there are many shortcuts you can take with this process but it is so worth it oh i'm going to make it again so if you like this video do like subscribe and stay tuned for more i hope to be uploading more um, meat curing and smoking adventures soon so stay tuned enjoy some of the other content i have here in this channel as well bye